routine this week feel good to be back at home get back in the yeah. flow of things? Yeah, we took Monday off, let them recover. It was, it was a pretty tough two weeks, and uh, they've done a great job last two days of working on We got some things we we're working on, and so uh, been really productive. You mentioned about post the game that they didn't play with the urgency to start matches too. Is that something? How do you how do you coach that or get them to that's do all, that? That's that's out of my league. I'm not out there. They got they got to figure that out. So they did they they know what they have to do. It's just a matter of doing it. Overall, how do you feel about your serving? Other than the airs, how, I mean, how often are you stressing teams with your serve this season? It depends on the night, but. Um, that's going to continue to get better. I'm already seeing things this week to, to lead me to be really confident that uh, our serving is continuing to get better. What are you seeing? In practice. So I don't, I don't want to jinx this, but we went, we went a lot of drills without missing a serve. Put it that way. Back to the slow starts that you talked about and it being on the players, is there any kind of common theme that you're sensing or any kind of message you've preached to well, them? Part of it is the teams we're playing are coming out really playing really well and hard. So when you're on the road, sometimes it takes a while to adjust. You know, we had three out of the four matches had record crowd, all-time record crowds. So it's just a little different environment and getting used to it. They're playing great. So, uh, but you know, we've, we've, we've found a way to come back and beat Michigan and, and Michigan State in game one. So even though a lot of that's our, our opponents are doing a really good job. On the flip side, what does that say about your resolve, being able to win those first sets, and if not the first, then quickly get back in it? It's huge. We're building that uh, that muscle uh, that we can, uh, doesn't matter if we're down, we can still come back. And you, know, it's, you can't really replicate that in practice. That's things that have to happen in games. and. It's great to see some of our players when we need it. They can really step up and make plays, and that's what, that's what great teams do. Penn State's a very different team than what you've seen in the past, but all the transfers they have. I mean, how are you impressed with how quickly they've kind of meshed as a unit as the season's gone on? Well, they, they, I mean, they've got all conference players all over the place, so uh, you know, they're, they're, um, they're going to be a really great test for us. We've got some great players. I mean, you just look at they got the best player from this school, best player from that school. So um, it'll be a really great test for us. Going back to the urgency, I mean, how much do you feel like having the Devaney Center crowd behind the players will help with some of those slow starts? Do you think that'll remedy a little bit of it? After being on the road for four matches, and it may not seem like a lot, you know, I just think football was on the road four straight matches, you know, four straight games. It's, it's, uh, It'll be. I think. I think our players are going to be really fired up to play at home, and, and um, I think our fans will be fired up. I think they missed us. I mean, it's three weeks without a volleyball match. You know, you think about it, and um, so I, I think it's going to be a really fun weekend. Lindsay serve was a weapon this weekend. What goes in decision bes uh, there, deciding deciding who uh, gets to serve in that spot? Uh, she uh, it was really thumping it all week, so I just thought. Um, this, Laney was struggling in there a little bit, so I said, let's go. And both her, Allie, and Hayden are all prepared to come in and serve. And the difference is Laney's such a great defensive player, you know, we give that up a little bit. But uh, Lindsay made some really nice digs and had some huge runs for us. So uh, we got confidence in all those guys to serve. Do you think of the way that she got going this weekend after maybe a slow start in that first one? Lindsay, I mean. Yeah, well, for what, serving? <laughs> well, no, just in general. Um, player of the week. Um, put up really good numbers efficiency wise. Yeah, she, she, she went 400 last week too. So, so we need her to do that every week. So we've been talking about somebody's got to kill balls in that spot. It makes us, it makes us a really tough team to defend when they're doing that. But I, Lindsay's a warrior, she's battling, she competes really hard and um, so she, she's doing a really good job. Final questions? A little off topic, but next Saturday you guys will be playing Huskers football. We'll also be playing at the same time. Lincoln should be a jammed house given what happened to Lindsay a few weeks ago. Any thoughts or words you give to fans driving in the area? Uh -huh. Well, uh, I've, I've noticed, uh, I don't know what's changed, but I've, I've just noticed o, o Street when I've been on, it's been a little more mellower. So I'm hoping our little thing we did with the police and the awareness with Lindsay's situation that maybe some people have slowed down. 
we, we got we got to continue to be safe and not distracted and all those things. And we'll, we'll keep pumping those messages. But um, so anyway, yeah, it's and I, I talk to our players about it every football weekend. You know, it's it's Lincoln's crowded and there's lots going on. And, you know, be safe. And that's that's oh, uh, you know, but um, yeah. So we're we're doing we're trying our part. What was your reaction to seeing how Harper handled that home crowd, all, everyone there, to see her, her, how she kind of dealt with all the extra things outside of volleyball last you, weekend? You, you could tell she was a little nervous to start with, but then she worked in and played great. So that's that was a big deal, big deal for her, and it's uh, you know that was a moment that nobody's ever gone through, and, and you know I'm sure it was very emotional for her sister and her and um, her mom. So. But it also was a special moment, and there were some great pictures of them sharing that. All right, Lindsay, you're up.